I'm Alex Jardine of Aardvark MacLeod and here we are on the banks of the delightful River Test. This particular estate, the Whirlwell Estate, is immediately upstream of the little quintessential English village of Whirlwell. The river here is three miles in length and comprises of both main river and carrier to make up eight beats for one to two rods through the season. For larger groups, it's possible to take a joining beat so you can fish as groups of three, four, even more. Um, and then for big group days, it's possible to take the whole estate as well as a wonderful little clear water lake uh, that's situated in the middle of the estate. Perfect for a barbecued style corporate day or just a, a good family day out. The Whirlwell Estate opens its doors each season to anglers from the 1st of May. This is a perfect time to come to the river as everything's just coming into bloom. Fish are rising like you can actually see in the background today and everything's about to kick off with upstream dry fly to begin with. And then as we move through the season, you get wonderful hatches of mayfly into the summertime when there's caddis fly. Also, there's some brilliant sight nymphing through the autumn here. Going into the winter, the estate stays open to offer grading anglers a brilliant place to come and target. Some fairly spooky at, at times, um, but quite big grading. So as we mentioned, we're on the upper test here, and it's a mixture of main river and carrier. For anglers arriving at Whirlwell Estate, you will typically find quite a small river, intimate. But don't be put off if you prefer a bigger river. It's a great place to put your skill against some difficult fishing, challenging fishing at times, but also some really productive fishing uh, when the hatches are right and the fish are rising freely. Across the eight beats, anglers will find a great variety of fishing, from deep bend pools to fast shallow riffles, Excellent weed growth with the ranunculus beds growing up, offering little channels of gravel. Perfect for both trout and grayling to find home and find good feeding stations. So the Whirlwell Estate is looked after by two excellent river keepers in Paul Moncaster and James Buckley. And they've really put their heart and soul into this river to make it a paradise for both fish, but anglers as well. And each winter, they're in the river making new features. So Every year, every season, anglers will come back to find the river a little bit different and hopefully a little bit better than they've seen it before. Moving away from the river to the lake, it's also short spring fed, so it's crystal clear, perfect for sight fishing to both rainbows and brown trout, and it offers a great place for experienced anglers, but also beginners. So if you're a small group or a family who's looking to get one or two people into fishing, it's a great place to come down, have a barbecue by the water, and learn, and even catch your first trout. Each beat is serviced by a small, simple fishing hut. So if you're planning to make a full day trip out, you can bring a picnic along and have a perfect place to sit by the river, enjoy your picnic, watch the fish rising as you eat, and probably knock over your beer as you dash to pick up your rod and cast at the next rising fish. But the whole estate is serviced by a much bigger hut which is situated on the lakes. That's got full service, so you've got toilets, running water, kettle, cooker, everything you need for a really good day out. We can provide full service dining options for larger groups. So if you're looking for a great option, whether you're a single angler, a group or a family, then give us a call and potentially Whirlwell Estate is the one for you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. Do subscribe for more videos. I'm going to leave now, find my rod and have a cast at some of these rising fish behind me.